Tis the season to get funky, trippy, trippy, trip, to trip, trip, trip. First and foremost, everybody, I just want to say, I hope you all had a very safe, very happy day celebrating what is honestly one of the greatest discoveries in the course of human history. Thank you, Albert Hoffman, for your problem child, for your beautiful potion that is LSD-25. And I also hope you all had a very hazy and daisy 420 to help complement that come down. And last but not least, hello, 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 and welcome once again back down the rabbit hole. I am Uncle 480, back with the new trip report to tell you all about our uh, little psychedelic journey, our little shindig that was Bicycle Day 2020. Um, let's waste no time and jump straight into it. Um, smoke a DMT. So, uh, it was me and my roommate Christian. We had uh, an idea of how we wanted to spend bicycle day, which completely fell through. That original idea was we were going to go to the woods, smoke DMT, and take LSD at sunrise, and run through the trees as if we were Winnie the motherfucking Pooh. Now that didn't happen, so we found ourselves the day before Bicycle Day sitting outside of our patio thinking, hmm, how are we going to spend this day? So during the course of this conversation, I realized that my homie Riverflow, shout out to Riverflow, an amazing Psytrance DJ. I'll uh, leave his information as the pinned comment for this video so you all can check out his alien orgasm sounds. Um, that river was in Arizona, uh, back in Arizona, recently moved back, and that maybe he could come over and, you know, fuck the decks for us. And, uh, we could invite some people over, whether they come or not, you know, everyone's supposed to be social distancing and terrified of the Rona. No matter who comes, you know, we'll all be chilling. So he was completely game. We throw out the word to whoever wants to come, and uh, one person hit us up. Shout out to Ra, an amazing Glover, amazing friend. Um, he said he would be here, so we were all fucking set, set and ready. The next day, bicycle day comes. And uh, I kind of wanted to do this early because I had to work the next day. So I wanted to get this shit popping in the beginning, but... That's not how it went down. This shit started to go down about 3, 3.30. River came through with all of his stuff, started setting up. We started rearranging the apartments and, you know, give him a little stage, a little area to, you know, do his thing. And then Ra comes over, and uh, we're all chilling. Uh, River's setting up. Uh, we're all just vibing, talking. And uh, the homie Christian's like, hey, I'm going to run to the dollar store, get some supplies. I'll be back. So as he leaves, uh, Austin's a glover. He had brought in his set of gloves. Rob brought, brought his set of gloves. So I had a bunch of batteries. So I was like, dude, we're going to refill these fucking gloves with brand new batteries. So the meltation will be at the maximum. So we're sitting there all fucking changing batteries and stuff like that. And Christian finally comes back with a whole arsenal of psychedelic shit. <laughs> So this dude comes back with two bubble machines, a bunch of glow sticks, comes back with Hawaiian lays, and he bought, he bought this shawl. As, uh, he bought this shawl that you would see your grandmother wearing. Um, it's like a mandalic uh, fucking shawl with elephants, and it's very colorful. And we use that as a little tapestry to hang under over the little bar. <laughs> We'll get into that. What's so funny? Why I'm laughing at that thing so much in a little bit. But um, so we're like, dude, this shit's gang gang, bro. Like this shit's about, <laughs> this shit's about to go down. So we all put on our Hawaiian lays. You know, we're all chilling. And uh, River didn't want to take his LSD until a little later because he was. Uh, we were live streaming his uh, DJ set. And shout out to all of you guys that were there for the live stream. Uh, but the complexity of working with the computers w while being on LSD was, wasn't really attractive to him. So he's like, I'll take it probably in the middle of my set. We're like, it's all good. But don't mind if we do. So we all dropped 250 micrograms. And uh, yeah, we were fucking chilling, you know, all talking and vibing. About 30 minutes later, I go outside. The sun's just starting to set. You know, I'm kind of looking at the sky and I just get that. Ooh, baby, electric feel. You know what I'm talking about? Like where your fucking spine feels like a wet noodle. And that wheel inside my head starts spinning. 
I walk back in, I look at Christian, I'm like, are you starting to feel it? He's like, yeah, dude, like, I'm starting to feel like really loose in my body. And then Rob tunes in and he's like, bro, it wasn't until you fucking said that that I feel this fucking shit. I'm like, yo, we have liftoff, baby. So uh, Christian was like, hey, dude, before we like, you know, really get into this shit, like, you guys want to take like a little nature walk? Because we live by this like really fucking far bike path. We're like, yeah, sure, let's fucking do that. So we all fucking go downstairs and uh, we live by a little dog park and um, there's another gate outside of the dog park that gives us access to that trail. So as we're walking up, this, you know, very goody two-shoes lady walks up with her, you know, pug or, I don't know, little (laughs) dog and uh, she walks up and homie's, you know, on acid trying to put his key in and taking a lot longer than he's supposed to and we're all sitting there now you all know how it's like to be around the normies when you're tripping balls and you need to act normal it's fucking impossible so we're all just sitting there like we don't know what to say just the come on man get the key in get the key in and again we're all dressed in psychedelic shit we have hawaiian lays on and finally he's like i got the door open she kind of walks by us and gives us the look and we you know ladies first <laughs> we let her in and we start walking and we're just like completely quiet i finally get to the gate open it and like once we got past that gate we're like home free and we just kind of start laughing like oh shit yo like bro i was like yo we were like a fucking uh, uh, psychedelic parade like make room for pure lsd so we start busting laughing about that we start walking down again the sun is just set It's a beautiful uh, pink, uh, mango, orangey cloud scent. We're walking down this bike path and we find this big old patch of lily flowers. And we all just fucking get in this big old patch of lily flowers. We're all sitting there, dude. And I swear to God, man, it was the most incredible fucking scenery, dude. Like... The colors and the clouds, man, it, they were all morphing and like melting and like just like pushing into each other, dude. It looked like literally a lava lamp of the universe, dude. It was so incredible listening to ambient music, sitting with the plants. And there we were, man, and just having a very, uh, what's the word? Like deep talks, man. Not, you know, just about, ah, excuse me. About Bicycle Day, we were talking about, you know, the Maryville Pranksters and Terrence McKenna, Timothy Leary, uh, Tim Scully, Nick Sand, and, you know, just dipping our heads in psychedelic history and giving thanks, man, to the pioneers that paved the way for where we are, you know what I mean? Always give thanks. Rest in peace to all of those, except Tim Scully, you're still kicking it. Um, (laughs) But, yeah, man, we were having very conscious talk, and it was was incredible, man, and, you know... um, yeah, dude, it was very touching, dude. And, you know, bicycle. <laughs> it's funny because it's a bike path, so all these bicyclists were riding by, and every time they ride by, we were just like, Happy Bicycle Day! And it was like, oh, shit, what the fuck? Happy Bicycle Day! Like, they didn't know what the fuck we're talking about, but there's this bunch of hippies sitting in a flower field every time a bicyclist goes by. Happy Bicycle Day! And I kind of had this funny thought, like, you know how many fucking groups of hippies are sitting out there right now by bike paths and every time a bicyclist passes by, they're sitting there in their tie-dye shirts being like, happy bicycle day. So uh, we decided it's kind of getting dark. Let's go in. So we come inside and uh, sit down. You know, River starts to get his uh, set ready. Now, again, about the psychedelic shop. Uh, we had it pinned up like a little tapestry. And again, it's something like your fucking 60, 70-year-old grandma would wear. We're sitting there and we're watching it breathe and melt and all the colors are spinning and shit. And we're just sitting there like laughing at it. Like, this is fucking crazy. And I'm just like, dude, you know how many fucking like old women are wearing this right now or pick this thing out? And they're like, oh, dude, this looks like a pretty, this is a very beautiful shawl. I'm going to buy this. And our dumb hippie asses are just sitting here staring at it with a bunch of rave lights going on. So we all share a laugh about that. And we fucking kicked on the live stream for a, it's for a river flow to do his set. And a lot of you guys were there for that. Um, thank you once again um yeah man so the party commenced right 
we're fucking, you know, light gloving, melting face. Christian has never had a light show before in his life, so we gave him a double light show and shit. And I hadn't had put on a pair of gloves in a while, so it felt good to fucking, whoa, you know what I'm saying? And uh, this goes on for a little while, and we hear, and uh, River turns down the music. He's like, yo, uh, someone's at the door. My heart sinks. Fuck, it's the cops. Because this is about, at this point, I want to say like 8.30, 8 o'clock on a Sunday night. Um, we have a big ass speaker playing. Like we're in an apartment complex. Like, oh, fuck, it might be the police. So I open the door and it's my uh, homie, it's my roommate Christian's homie. And I'm so sorry, I forget her name. But uh, the cool thing about this chick is that she's from the exact same tribe as me. So we grew up on the exact same land. I'd met this girl once. Um, very briefly for maybe like an hour or something. Uh, but she came in and I was like, oh shit, what up? I thought you were the police, like this and that. So she comes in, starts vibing with us and, uh, she, you know, drops acid. We're all chilling, live streams going, we're fucking giving line shows. And, uh, eventually the live, we kicked the live stream off. Now we're all chilling, chirping. And, uh, so, uh, we start, you know, having this conversation and, uh, I'm trying to like word this in the way to make it as funny as it was for us. So we start talking about our salvia trips and, uh, me and Ra start talking about our salvia trips and uh, I tell him about mine and I'll, I guess I'll make that into a trip report. He tells me about his and, uh, his ends with, um, and then I woke up and my grandma was hosing me in the face. It was, uh, spraying a hose in my face. And we fucking died laughing about that. So she asks us about how DMT is. So I give her my description of DMT. How, you know, the come up and the peak and you come down. And then Ra had given his description of DMT. And uh, the last thing he said is like, and then you just kind of come out of it. And I was standing up to take a pee as he said that. And uh, he's like, you just come out of it. And I said, and then your grandma's hosing you off, with, uh, hosing you in the face, uh, hosing you off. And then um, I kind of saw her like, wait, what? And I, as I was walking to the bathroom, like I took two steps. I was like, she's going to get it. She's going to get it. She's like, oh, and I was like, ah, I fucking knew it. I was like, it took a second, but I fucking got you. And dude, she's fucking dying laughing. So I, I started laughing too. I'm in the bathroom taking a piss, dying my ass off. We come back and she's like, that was a fucking good one, man. That was a fucking good one. So then we, oh God, it gets so much weird. So we go outside, we start having a conversation. And, you know, she's from the exact same area I grew up on, on the res. So she starts talking to me. She's like, hey, have you heard of this person? I was like, no. She's like, well, let me tell you about these people. Now, I'm going to have to change the name for non, uh, anonymous purposes. But she's like, dude, uh, I know this person who named um, their children after ICP songs. And I'm like, what? She's like, I, I, can, I cannot make this up. I'm telling you the complete fucking truth. And I, I have to change the kid's name, but it's not far from something like Wicked Clown Poncho. The last name Poncho, first name Wicked Clown. That's not the real, it's something that just absolutely outrageous. She's like, yeah, they, uh, they named him Wicked Clown Poncho. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? She's like, dude, I can't make this up. I'm like, how many kids does this dude have? She has nine. I'm like, what the fuck? What's his other kid's name? <laughs> whoop, whoop, give me a 20 sack poncho? Like, what the? Dude, I thought it was the most funniest shit in the world. So I'm making jokes about that shit all night. And uh, we're just, you know, we're all fucking laughing, having a fucking good ass time, you know, still gloving and fucking. I was getting my concepts on nice and par and tight and shit like that. And uh, yeah, man, uh, we were just fucking laughing about shit all fucking night, man. And like, no one really knew each other. Well, I mean, I knew Ra, I knew Austin. I didn't know this chick, you know, these, uh, that chick and, you know, Christian didn't know uh, Ra or didn't know um, River. But uh, that whole night we became a fucking family, man. And in all honesty, it was one of the most greatest trips ever, dude. And we fucking, we just vibed all night, man. Had a completely awesome conscious conversation. And yeah, man, it was fucking beautiful. And I had to go to work, dude. I had to go to work. So I had to be out of this house at 5.15. So at 4 o'clock, I was like, I'm going to take a power nap. So I laid down and uh, didn't go to sleep, but just kind of closed my eyes, woke up, went to work. 
had the worst day of my life. Came home, crashed out for like 16 hours, and uh, it was all good, man. Um, beautiful night, so many jokes to be had. I wish I could tell you guys more in depth about it, but it's just, y'all yeah, should have been there, homie. It was fucking amazing, dude, and it was everything LSD is supposed to be. It was love, connection, happiness, and just straight fun, dude, straight fun. So yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this Bicycle Day trip report. I hope all of yours was amazing. Thank you always and forever for tuning in to what I have to say about our weird journeys. Oh, man, I don't know a lot of things in life, but I'll tell you one thing. If you ever need to find me, all you got to do is jump down the rabbit hole, take a left at the Land of Oz. From there, it's second star to the right and straight on till morning. You'll find yourself in that state of consciousness before you fall asleep and start dreaming. Right there, my friends, that's where I'll always love you. That's where I'll be waiting. Follow me on Instagram, at Uncle Icarus. Peace, love, and smoke DMT.